Look, Michael Jordan is the greatest athlete of the 20th century. And if you ask me, when you talk about dominating the era, what the competition was like, the kind of sport it is, what kind of athletic ability it takes, etc., I don't think it's particularly close. I think there's Jordan, and then we can just start discussing other athletes. Of the 20th century. So that's who Jordan is. Now, who's Horace Grant? A badly underrated player, as it turns out. He was a very good player. He was not good enough, obviously, to be the best player in a championship team or the second best player in a championship team. But he was clearly the third best player on a dynasty. That's damn good. He was a prototypical power forward plus for his era. What does that mean? Horace Grant had a good jump shot, mid-range, reliable. He could, he obviously is a good rebounder on the offensive glass, but he was just a good rebounder. He was a good defender, a good post defender. He was a good passer. He did all the things you wanted a power forward to do. Oh, and by the way, he shot free throws just well enough, like high 60s, low 70s, and he blocked shots. And, and the, now, he was traded for Bill Cartwright. For a couple, excuse me, Charles Oakley was traded for Bill Cartwright. Oakley was Jordan's original prototypical power forward and protector and enforcer, and they were good friends. So I'm sure whoever came in to replace Oakley, even though Oakley was traded for Cartwright, Grant really replaced Oakley in terms of his function on the team. Jordan's going to have certain feelings about at least to start. So here we have Grant, an underrated, unheralded player as time has gone on. By the way, he was the third best player on a powerhouse Orlando team. There was Shaq and Penny. Oh, oh yeah, and Horace Grant. Like Grant was a really good player. Made an all-star team, was kind of a bubble all-star other years. And he's sort of the forgotten man. We think about Dennis Rodman, obviously. Scottie Pippen's underrated. And, and we don't talk, we, Steve Kerr is getting more burn on this than Horace Grant as a player, right? So Grant probably has feelings about that. Jordan, meanwhile, is reacting to Horace Grant. I'm glad you said his truth, Stephen A., because that's the buzzword now. They speak your truth. But Jordan has his truth, and he's telling it. And, and, and Grant has his, and he's telling it. But, of course, many, many more people are interested in Michael Jordan's truth than Horace Grant's because he was the greatest athlete of the 20th century, not just a really good power forward plus who's become underrated. Obviously, if, if he has a close relationship with a guy who's writing a book and that guy has multiple sources, people will assume, not just Jordan, that Grant is one of the sources. Of course, he seems to be objecting. Well, first of all, he's denying he was, but he seems to be objecting that everyone's singling him out. Grant brought up the fact you need at least two sources. So not only is he claiming that he's not one of them, he's saying, why is this falling on me? And I understand it, Mike, if you're the most underrated guy, if you really said who's the most underrated player on all six championship teams, I think Horace Grant's pretty clearly the answer. You're the most underrated guy. The greatest athlete of the 20th century has a beef with you, is pointing to you, and you're like, whoa, I'm the bad guy in this? Stop. Now, here's what I would say, is that there's no question Horace Grant was resentful the entire time he was on that team of the fact that they were basically perceived to be a big two, and he thought it should have been a big three. He should have been, thought it should have been the three of us and everybody else, and it was always perceived, including internally, to be Michael and Scotty and everybody else. That bothered Horace a lot. It's part of the reason that he left, and it is the reason that they carried him off the floor when he beat Jordan and the Bulls in the only playoff series Michael ever lost once he started winning. They carried Horace Grant off the floor when Orlando beat them. So if you don't think Michael Jordan remembered that and holds a grudge, then you didn't pay attention to the 10 episodes of this. Here's the other thing I'll say. At least when I was around them, Horace Grant and Scottie Pippen were the best of friends. I don't know what their relationship is today. But I think Horace may also have been standing up for his buddy. Because no one has a beef, Stephen A., like Scotty does. The five things you took out of this documentary about Scotty were all negative. It was the 1.7 seconds. It was when he chose to have the surgery. It was the two foul shots that he missed against Indiana. They showed those, and they didn't show the foul shots that Carl Malone missed that made people say the mailman doesn't deliver on Sunday. This, the, 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 the depiction of Scotty Pippen in Last Dance, which we perceive to be Michael's view of Scotty, was startlingly negative. And I think Scotty is upset about it. I don't blame him. And I think part of this may have been Horace Grant standing up for his friend Scotty, because at least when I was there, they were the best of friends. Mm -hmm.